So this is our uh, mass balance. Quite an old-fashioned instrument, obviously, but there's a good reason to use one, which is uh, most electronic scales um, can be disrupted by magnetic effects. Uh, whereas this one, because we're just literally using a kind of balance pan like the scales of judgment, um, it can't be affected that way. So we, we literally just put a mass on one pan and balance it with masses on the other uh, pan. And it might not seem very accurate. Like, if you have a look here, these are our kind of standard uh, masses. The numbers are a little tricky to read, probably. They're uh, a little um, corroded. Uh, but you can see they range from about one... Uh, gram, which is this one, uh, all the way up to 100 grams, which is this one. Uh, this is a weight so heavy that no physicist has ever successfully lifted one before now. We're famously weak people. Um, the actual balance itself, though, you know, like obviously our mass is only measured to one gram, but the balance uh, you can be more precise with. So if you look at this dial up here, and I'll insert a uh, a kind of photo of that in a minute, uh, you can actually add in tenths of a gram uh, to that. Let's try a little fancy video magic here. So you can actually see uh, in this scale you can see the increase in mass clicking up. Likewise, uh, we also have a hundreds of a gram measurement on this. So, very first thing we want to do is turn the balance on. You can see both pans have raised into the air so that we know it's working. And the other thing you want to check is that the white marker on this uh, lines up with the zero edge of the scale, which it does. I've actually preset this one uh, so that it works, but if, if it's not, you can take this off, and there's counterweights here that you can adjust uh, so that it's properly balanced with no weight. I have uh, what doctors call incredibly shaky hands, so I need to be uh, careful with that. So, we take our uh, aluminium block, put it in the pan, and you can see, well, I mean, hopefully you can see, uh, this pan has raised right into the air, this one's resting on the ground. So we want to take um, the masses, uh, and we might start with one that's probably too heavy. Uh, so we know that this is the, um, I think this is a 5 gram, no, this is 10 grams actually. Uh, so the, the 10 gram mass, that weighs less than 10 grams. Um, I actually know roughly what the mass is, so I'm gonna I'm gonna cut to uh, mm, two grams. So let's put that on. So two grams is too light. Now the reason we use the tweezers is because our hands usually have oil on them, uh, and it can you know kind of affect the accuracy of the masses we put on. Uh, so I'm gonna put one gram on now. Ah, what a shock! So we've now got three grams on this pan. And three grams is too heavy, but two grams is too light. So I'm going to go uh, and just grab the one gram off. Masses also roll, so put them back in the block. Um, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to zoom in just a bit on the scale here. Uh, so I'm going to click uh, the, the chain. So you'll see my hand just on uh, this thing. So I'm going to click it until this scale balances somewhere. Now you can't read that wheel at the moment, so I'm just going to tell you that's at 2.8, and I'm going to click once more. And you see 2.9 sends it too heavy the other way. So I'm going to go back to 2.8. Uh, and what you can just see is that the pointer there lines up on the ninth uh, scale. So this is 2.99 grams. And that's what we've measured the weight of the aluminium block to be. So that will be the weight of the aluminium block going forward. This is the last time I'm going to read the scale for you. 
brief correction there, I think I said 2.99 grams, but it's actually 2.89 grams. Sorry, I just completely misspoke. 